welcome to my first unboxing video and I want to show you something about the Mac Pro uh, 4.1 and how to make it to 5.1 just to buy an example of my latest purchase bought this Mac uh, Pro for 200 euros which is a good price and let's see the unboxing in the original box which is good all the foam keeps the computer in good condition the stock machine with an Intel Xeon W3550 CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, stock, NVIDIA GT120 graphics card. The seller uh, gave me a software bundle and a little hardware bundle to this. And it's really good. No damage at all. Look at this. What a beauty. <laughs> right? Okay, let's have a look at the accessories. We have a Magic Mouse Model 1. Nice, nice to have. The power cord original from Apple. iLife 2011 software bundle. This could be interesting, Microsoft Office for Mac 2011. Now the, what is it, uh, the grey recovery DVDs on Mac OS for uh, Macbook, so you cannot use it on the Mac Pro. Let's have a look inside, let's take the CPU tray and see, isn't this disgusting, I promise you will see more of this, very dusty, but it's just now. Going to clean this up. To my surprise, there was already a Wi Fi card inside. It's an original old Wi Fi card. That's the GPU NVIDIA GT120. We have the four drive slats, the base, and we got one and a half terabyte Seagate Barracuda drive, hard disk drive, a spinner. <coughs> In addition, second bay, it's a 640 Hitachi Apple brand spinner drive. Base 3. This is a kind of uh, 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch uh, adapter. I, it's called IC Dock. Let's open it. Maybe push it and slide it. Maybe not. It's not that easy the first time. Just have a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, somehow slide it and then pull it maybe but um yep that's it it's a samsung 830 with 128 gigabytes sata ssd let's put the back the, uh, 
maybe not it's not that easy but maybe we don't need it just put it back this we can put here or just away bay for the same IC dock adapter but this one is empty and dusty <laughs> At least the super drive, the usual DVD burner, SATA, disconnect the cable, have a look, we put it aside, clean it up later. Maybe you mentioned this dust ball there, the bottom of the case. Yep, this. Take it out. For the raw dust balls. You have this everywhere, everywhere in the corners. Especially in the power supply unit as well. Okay, let's have a look at the CPU tray. Mmm, nice. We pull out the 8 gigs of RAM to Four, six, eight gigabytes of RAM, and we have a closer look to the dust because it's really everywhere. We're going to remove the CPU cooler and we need this uh, 3mm hex wrench. It's 15 centimeters long. And with this in a X pattern, we loosen the screws. They are anti loss. Don't be afraid to lose them somewhere. As you can see, the cooler is already lifting up. Gently pull it up. Okay. You see, all the thermal compound, little dust, of course. compound on the CPU we're going to remove with the usual toilet paper just a raw cleaning I use a plier to, to remove hard bigger pieces of the thermal compound now we go to remove all the dust all over the board using this um, the brush is uh, natural hair to clean the VRMs as well. Maybe they are a little bit oily. So we take not just the toilet paper. This Argo pad is good for this. And we will give the CPU a little finish with it as well.
extra small wet tissue. Just slide over the rear ends. Hold it, or maybe the CPU. Let's clean the CPU cooler, raw a little bit above the dust. The bottom, of course, the old thermal compound. Blowing the dust out or away and let's clean a little bit with the alcohol pad. in the end looks good so far we blow the dust out so the raw dirt and dust is gone this side as well maybe That looks better. This side as well, but a fan is. Okay, to the RAM, we're going to put four, four gigabyte sticks inside. One, two, three, four slots we have. So we start. This is the lineup thing that you match the notch. So four. Eight. Place it there correctly aligned. And just gently push it down. Twelve. And 16 gigabytes. Apply a new thermal compound. And place the cooler back on the CPU. You don't have to spread the thermal compound. It's uh, spreading itself by the pressure of the cooler. And then tighten or hand tighten the screws again in the X pattern. Well, looks good so far. We can slide it back to the Mac Pro. Finish.